Yeah, today I come here to check whether there will have something to be concerned about the environmental problem from the the aircraft. So uh, today we, I I going to check uh, whether we have some like a uh, some dirty thing like oil, engine or any dangerous parts on the airplane. So we I will write a, a report of recommendation what to do after they they fix up the wing together. Then I can, I come back again to check and. To check everything, every, every sharp point or dangerous point for divers. This is as your position as advisor for the for the Sea Foundation. Yeah, actually, uh, I'm a lecturer at the Pinong Songkra University, but at, uh, acting as uh, the advisory committee for the Four Sea Foundation and and to this project, especially for to this project. Has this sort of project been done before in Thailand, or you've been involved in anything like this before? Uh, actually, I I involved in uh, artificial reef evaluation for the Department of Marine and Coastal Resources, and now preparing uh, the management plan for artificial reef for Thailand. So I I already review many benefit and 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 advantage the advantage and disadvantage of the artificial reef in Thailand. And we found uh, the benefit of the artificial reef from many types of artificial reef, from concrete, from the the car, uh, from the train, the bulky of the train. And now we we have the new one, is a which is the airplane. So in general, do you think it's a good idea? Uh, if we look at the the material, it's made made from the aluminium alloy, which is where not the corrosive and anti the last so. It, we prove from the literature review that in, in overseas, like in Hawaii and in, in Canada and America, uh, there are some artificial leaf die size for, for die size made from the, the airplane and it's, it has, uh, it's, uh, it can still stand very well underwater. I mean, you've got to check every single part. I mean, you've got to trust the, the Thai Air Force or the, the American makers of the planes. To know exactly what parts are inside. Uh, you, uh, at the at the beginning of before they move uh, the airplane here, we recommend to remove the all the engine, remove the engine, the electric wire, cables, plastic. the cable, the plastic, or uh, any 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 dangerous thing out. But now after the transport here, we have to come back again and check everything again. So there are still some sort of dangerous parts like these. Sticking yeah, out metal, yeah, which sharp. could be dangerous for right. divers. Are you going to try and take those off? Yeah, it's very dangerous for divers, so we come back again to check and to clear everything. With the basic shape, you will keep the same yeah. if you can with all the, the, the wings and uh, the helicopters too. Yep. Does it matter, the helicopters or the planes? Do you think they'll both work? Uh, yeah, I think it's work for like a, it's very good for, for divers because it's like an adventure diver. And it's also very good for fish because they have some many uh, many holes inside, so the fish will come. Actually, I believe they will come. The fish will come. So you think the local fishermen will like this project too because they can catch more fish? Yeah, it, it can increase increase the income for for local fishermen. But but we have to make an agreement together which kind of fishing gear can be used in this area. So if we have a nets or a big net cover the the average. It's not get caught on the plane. Yeah, yeah. How how did they choose the actual location in Bangtao? Because some people are saying, you know, should be in other places or they should be separated, not just all ten in one. Yeah, actually, one 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 of the most important objective. We want to create a new dive site. We want to remove some diver out of the natural reef. So we come to the the new 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 area. Uh, underwater is this uh, it is a sand and flat sand, no coral reef in in that area. Now, if we, if we look at the La Cha Noi, La Cha Yai, or in the southern part of Phuket, there are many dive sites and many tourists, many divers come. So we want to remove some of them and disperse to other area like this new new dive site. And obviously, the local Chen uh sub district administration they they put some money in. They wanted it there, so. Did you choose the exact location though in the bay? Yeah, in in all, oh, oh, yeah, the oh, but oh, Sheng Tale, uh, pay the pay the, the transportation, the budget for this project. So we select the Sheng Tale area, and then we go to the the area, and then we select the suitable size for them. Will it be near where there used to be an old tin dredger as well? Ah, uh, yeah, the old one. Yes, yeah. There are many fish in in that area.
but because that area is not not very attractive for the diver, so there are only a few amounts of diver in that area. And we, we believe that if we have something like this, it will increase the uh, uh, interesting to the, the diver. You know. And also in the same area, I remember two years ago there was some concrete cubes, lo lo blocks put down. Right. How are they doing? Will they be near these planes? Yeah, it's very really, it's really near near to this this uh, this plane, and we we found a lot of fish in in that artificial reef, and that artificial reef also uh, helps uh, prevent the the trawler to come close to the the shore. Right. So these are going to be at 20 meter depth, so obviously you've got to be a scuba diver to go down. With, or can snorkelers see it from the surface? Uh, we we have to select the deep side. Uh, yeah, deeper than 10 meter, because we we want to be safe for the the boat transportation and also from the wave action. So we we select uh, the side that is deeper than 10 meter to 20 meters. So it, this area is about 15 meters. So actually, if, uh, this dive side is for scuba diving, but for snorkel, I think they 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 had they can have a chance to see a big school of fish. Usually over the artificial reef that we have a, a big fish. And how will it be marked on the surface? Will there be a boy and a sign in English saying this is the artificial plane reef? Uh, we will have a normal buoy from the DMCR, but we will have a special buoy for this purpose also. And the, the location will be put on the navigation map also. And we, we will put uh, in the brochure. I'm quite sure that all of the diving company will know this area. and. And if you are a, a, a diver, general diver who want to go by yourself, the the fishermen in that area we know we know the size, and we will, we will prepare the the board and the map on the mainland also. Right. Well, the dumping is going to be on the fifth of the May. That that's the official date. But right. the dumping is going to be on the fifth of the May. That that's the official date. But it obviously takes a long operation. You've got to tow them all the way around. By boat all together, d dump them all together, or, or different time? Uh, diff different time, because that's one that's just like the opening ceremony for the the, the process, the, the project. How long after that do you think before we'll see some results? Before we see more fish or more coral? Uh, in within within a month, I think we, we can we can see the fish. The fish will come come really quick because they're, they're just traveling, and when when they see the the prey that they can stay, they can they will come. And then after one year, they will start breeding, and we, I think we can see the the small fish, the juvenile fish, after one year. And after after one or two or three years, we can, we may find some some marine fauna attached on the the airplane. And how long do you think they will last or serve as a purpose forever and ever? Um, in the past, it's usually more than twenty years as a record, and and even if we look at the the airplane during the, the World War II is more than 60 years already. But you wouldn't remove them then later, do you think? Uh, we, we, don't, we don't need to, to remove, but we have to monitor if they have any problem. After installation of this artificial reef, we have a regular monitoring every year. So if there was a problem, you'd take them out again? Or? Is this, actually, is it possible to take them out? It's not difficult, because like a, the general shipwreck, if you want to remove them, we can.